everyone, it's Hina Sheth from Rebalance Physical Therapy here in Philadelphia and the main line of Pennsylvania. And I am here today to talk to you about diastasis recti treatment and what conservative options are available to you. Now, I'm not gonna go into what a diastasis is because I have another video that you should watch um, that explains what a diastasis is. But um, today I wanna talk about more about the treatment options that are available. Now, diastasis, just to kind of reiterate real quickly, is where the linea alba has split and there is a opening of the rectus abdominis. Now, there's a lot of things out there that talk about how to close the diastasis and what simple exercises you can do to close the diastasis. Now, sometimes those can work, but many of the times it's not as simple as just doing a particular exercise. The diastasis is, may, you know, it's, it's basically an opening of the rectus abdominis, but there's three layers of the abdomen. Now, I want you to think of this as layers of a cake. So the top layer is gonna be your rectus, where it's kind of opening up. The middle layer is going to be your internal and external oblique muscles, which are the muscles that kind of go crisscross and give you that nice kind of, um, you know, chiseled pattern on the side. And then there is your transverse abdominus, which is the deepest layer of your abdominal muscles. Now, again, if you Google search, there's probably going to be a lot of, um, uh, I guess, uh, there's going to be a lot of information out there saying that strengthening the transverse abdominus is actually going to close the diastasis recti. And it actually is not just simply strengthening the transverse abdominus is not necessarily going to close that diastasis. In fact, um, according to Diane Lee, who is a physical therapist in Canada, the transverse abdominus actually widens the um, linea alba. But it's actually really, really important that that muscle is working efficiently and it's strong. Now, a lot of people out there may not realize it, but the abdominal muscles actually need to fire in a certain type of pattern. If you're over, if you're over dominant in your rectus abdominis, that can actually um, not allow the linea alba to close or if it's not functioning right. If the internal and external obliques are dominant, then that can actually widen or prevent that diastasis from, from closing. And so there, need, there needs to be a good balance between those muscles. And once those muscles are balanced and they're actually functioning correctly, which a physical therapist that specializes in diastasis can actually look at and see if that's happening well, then that will create tension and loading within that linea alba to help it to repair over time. And the other thing that's really, really important to also recognize is that the these abdominal muscles don't just function by themselves. They're part of a bigger um, systematic um, kind of group of muscles that work together. And I wanna show you that. Again, this is a, a picture courtesy of Diane Lee. But if you look at this picture right in through here, and this is called the abdominal canister. This is made of four different types of muscles. Now, this is the front of this is representing the deeper abdominal muscle, which is called your transverse abdominus. The bottom is your pelvic floor muscles. And again, if you don't know what the pelvic floor is, I have other videos that talk about what the pelvic floor is. These here are the deeper muscles of your spine called the multifidi muscle. And you have these other muscles up here called your diaphragm. And the diaphragm is the muscle that you use all the time for breathing. These four muscles actually work together and they work in harmony to actually support the spine, support the trunk, and to actually support the organs that are inside the abdomen. And those need to work synergistically along with the abdominal muscles that should be firing in a correct pattern in order for everything to work harmoniously to load the tension through the linea alba and to help it repair over time. Now, the other thing that's really important is also the alignment of what your hip, your spine, your rib cage, as well as your pelvis is looking like. So I'm gonna show you this skeleton model over here, okay? And again, if the abdominal muscles connect from the rib cage and the sternum 
all the way down to the pubic bone over here, and this isn't functioning right, then this is, all, this is part of the abdomen that supports the whole entire trunk. Now, reasons why they might not be working correctly or firing correctly could be that there is um, an alignment issue either somewhere along the rib cage where the muscles attach, there could be an alignment issue down here in the pelvis, okay? There could be some wonkiness, some rotations and things like that where this pelvis isn't sitting nice and level, which again, if the muscles are attached to the pelvis, then if there is some type of alignment issue here or up here or somewhere that's also disturbing the alignment of the pelvis, meaning around the hip or even in the low back, then these muscles are not gonna be able to load correctly fire correctly and do the job of what they need to do to again help that linea alba to repair which is what holds that diastasis or what holds um, the abdominal muscles together preventing a diastasis. So treatment options that are out there you know again there's a lot of information on possibly binding or using a binder and you know sometimes that can help to reduce or make you look like the diastasis is closing and to a certain extent it can help for a tiny bit of time in my clinical opinion however ultimately you really do have to have a thorough evaluation to find out you know if there if there's any alignment issues if there's any um, imbalances in the firing pattern and also if those four muscles that i showed you previously are not functioning correctly and again, someone who specializes, a physical therapist that really understands how all of this functions together is going to be able to thoroughly evaluate this and is going to be able to put this all together um, and help you kind of rebuild um, the stability in this area. Now, so the other option is, is say if this diastasis is too big or there is not sufficient tension that's able to generate to close that linea alba. Well, then we do potentially have to think about some surgical options. Um, and again, I usually don't recommend that until you have tried really good, thorough conservative management to close this diastasis because not one person is going to be the same. Everyone is gonna have different imbalances. Everyone is gonna have different alignment issues. You know, person A, person B, person C is gonna have different firing patterns. And also person A, person B, person C is gonna have differences in those four muscle groups and how they are working. So it really does need to be thoroughly assessed. There is no cookie cutter approach to closing a diastasis. Um, and there is no research that's shown that there is a cookbook way to kind of close this diastasis. Um, so again, a good program that incorporates all of these things that progresses you into a good abdominal firing pattern that helps to load these muscles in the abdomen correctly is going to be what ultimately will, will help close and prevent a diastasis, which will also hopefully help a lot of other symptoms that you might be dealing with improve, such as low back pain, such as incontinence, such as prolapses, and all the other hip and pelvic pain issues um, that you might be having, including pain with intercourse um, and other urogynecologic, colorectal, and GI-related um, pain and dysfunction. So I hope, I know that was a mouthful. I know there's probably a lot of medical terms that I talked about. Um, if you don't understand any of these things, please reach out to us. You can go to our website on www.rebalancept.com. Um, if you live in the Philadelphia area or on the mainline suburbs or any of the surrounding suburbs, if you want help and treatment, um, you can give us a call. We'd be happy to talk to you. Um, we consult um, all the time on these areas and we can help you put a good plan together and hopefully get you moving in the right direction. All right. Have a wonderful day.